Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install um, a Scott steering dampener together with a BRP vibration dampener. There's part number one. And quickly unbox part number two, which is this bad guy here. Um, but before we start, my little disclaimer. Um, I'm not a professional mechanic. I've never learned stuff like this. I'm doing this all myself. I'm teaching all the stuff myself. So if you're looking for straightforward instructions, this is not the right video for you. Um, I'm just doing this to show that an average guy like me is able to build up a, a rally adventure style bike like the Husqvarna 701 in the back. So that's my disclaimer. Let's start. So before we start, let's have a quick look what's in the box. Um, I've ordered a complete kit, including the dampener, the vibration dampener, uh, the steering dampener, and uh, everything that's needed for an install. Um, I've ordered this from Wattweiler Performance. Let me quick show you the steering dampener by BRP. It's this unit. Um, it comes with two different uh, rubber spashings. I'm German by the way, so if I'm missing any words, I'm sorry. It comes with uh, blue and red rubber, let's call it bushings. Um, the red ones are already installed. Then uh, there's the mounting material. This part, which will be mounted to the frame. This piece goes into the Scott steering dampener, which is this one. Um, this one already has installed uh, a bigger knob for tuning or fine-tuning the dampener. Usually it comes with a smaller knob. I've ordered the bigger one as an add-on. I don't know why uh, mine already came with a bigger one, so I have a second one now. Looks like it's working, working perfect, so I have a second one as a spare part. guess I will never need it, but I have it. Then there's uh, two screws. To mount it and uh, that's pretty much all of course uh, instructions and somewhere stickers okay that's all the parts that they uh, come within the package and um, I would say I will have a quick look on the instructions and then we head straight over to the bike and uh, Installing. Okay, first of all, let's install the base plate here with the pin for the steering dampener. One on the right hand is easier to install, so I will start with this. This piece down here. The top. Give it a few turns just to hold it in place. There we go. Maybe it's a good idea to add some Loctite to the screws. I will do it afterwards. Okay, then I will look that this is facing straight up and tighten those screws. And that's it for this part. Okay, next part to install are the new risers, which uh, will be mounted here, like this. Um, this has to go face downside, so we will mount the Scott steering dampener here later. Um, I already demounted the the old risers and got the uh, the rubber cones out. The new risers are coming with the new cones, which are not made of rubber; they're made of alloy. I have no idea why. <laughs> now I guess the reason why they come in alloy is that the the rubbers. 
that are um, dampening the vibrations are now here. First of all, we have to demount the risers from the base plate. Okay, this makes sense. Now we have uh, three axes. So, get uh, one of the alloy cones uh, in from the downside. The other one from the upside. We don't need the screw yet. Then it's clever to put the second cone in here. And we're going to put this in place. Ah, okay, there's already. No, we'll not be able to hold the screw, so we have to hold the screw from this side. The other cone go down from the bottom to the left side. Put the screw in here, and then we have the the washers and the nuts. The washer goes down over the screw. And then we have the nuts, those are self-securing, no need for Loctite here. Number one. And then we have the other cone, washer, nut. Okay, that's it. Going to tighten these guys, 17 millimeter. Okay, bad idea. I've damaged the surface here. Let me quickly check the uh, instructions. Okay, uh, not, I'm not missing any washers or nothing. It's really like this. You have to tighten them from the downside. Not a big deal, just a little bit of scratched alloy here. But hey, it will get a lot more scratches once it's on the road. this, holding this here, and tightening it. I'm not totally tightening them because uh, I will do it in a few minutes. I got myself, uh, uh, how's it called? Huh. In Germany, we call it a Drehmoment Schlüssel. <laughs> and no. Good time to make fun of the German language. Um, those have to be tightened with a special amount of Newton meters. And there's a special tool for this, which I have. And I will get it. But until then, just tighten this up a little bit. the tool, I think it's a top wrench. In the instructions it says uh, we should uh, tighten them to 36 to 38 uh, foot. For us metric guys it's uh, around about 50 newton meters. One. And number two. Okay, then those go back in here. You see this is all really straightforward. There's just a few obstacles to master like the mistake I did down here with the screws trying to tighten it from the upside but uh, yeah, those are the mistakes you have to make so you're learning okay but let's move on here with the next part of the installation which is the uh, Scott's uh, steering dampener before we mount this with the uh, provided screws this came with the steering dampener, they already have Loctite on the screws, perfect. Um, before we do this, we have to adjust uh, the height of this pin. It can be done with uh, moving this, getting this one off and getting it upwards or downwards. For me it was just 
getting it up a few millimeters. And then, very important, as we, at least they stated in the manual, grease this. Um, yeah, I already did this. So, there's no squeezing and nothing runs freely. It can move inside here and it has to. I don't know if you can see it. Once you've adjusted the height so that it fits in here nicely, really the last thing to do, I guess, is to uh, mount this guy. Yep. So there's not much clearance here, nope. Um, what I will do is I take this clamp off, have to do it anyways, to mount the handlebar. There it goes. Now I should have enough clearance to, yeah. Well, not perfect, but it works. Nice and tight, but not over tight. Okay, as you can see here, the, the pin is located nicely in the center. We'll get another three or four millimeters up, so it's really sticking out a little bit up here. So, last but not least, the handlebar. Yeah, nice. <laughs> One more time. Centering this guy. It has nice marks on, so. Nothing can will go wrong here. Okay, one thing which I hope is correct. Um, if tightening a handlebar or something like this, you should always tighten uh, one screw here, then one on the, on the other side, the opposite direction, and this guy over here, and then again go to the other side, and tighten this. Okay, I will not over tighten this because uh, I have to get it off anyways to install the heated grips. But this is for later, um, for today, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, maybe you've learned a little bit, <laughs> I guess not. For me it was nice, it was uh, straightforward, nothing special here, um, it was an easy install. Um, this thing really is a thing of beauty. I will get uh, a few more shots of it and I uh, hope I see you guys next time. If you liked the video, leave a like down there. And if you wanna see more, subscribe to the channel so you will get notified when the next one is on. See you next time.